Part of what my laboratory does is gene and cell engineering for immunotherapy. My laboratory and laboratories in the natural killer cell field have very difficult challenges in delivering the material to these cells in a safe and effective manner. I was fortunate enough to have a collaborator who's also doing nanobiology, and it was a perfect partnership where we each bring something to the table that the other doesn't have, and so it amplifies our skill set so that we can apply it in a novel fashion for pediatric tumors. The greatest reason why the Regenerative Medicine of Minnesota grant proposal is so impactful. It allows us to operate at the very leading edge of multiple technologies in translational application for a very significant patient population. In the relatively short time that our funding has started, we've expanded and grown this cell population. We're working with collaborators to engineer the nanoparticles that we were deliver into these cells and our results to date are promising in regards to being able to effectively deliver material to the cell population for eventual continuation of the grant and then translational application. Using the funding from the Regenerative Medicine of Minnesota, we hope to be able to impact one of the most precious assets of the state, which is our children, by targeting leukemia in this significant patient population.